The dying screams of slaughtered Thraxian filled the, the distress beacon as it reached the UES Indomitable. No one in the galaxy knew what to do against the relentless Voxari invasion, so the Thraxian called the humans. Captain James Hawkins received the desperate plea. The ruthless Voxari invaders had overwhelmed Thraxian defenses with superior tech and brutal tactics. They were exterminating and enslaving the Thraxian people. Approaching the besieged Thraxian homeworld, Hawkins saw the remains of the proud Thraxian fleet, now just shattered, lifeless hulks drifting in space. Voxari forces had already landed and swept across the planet, butchering civilians. Thraxian ambassador Kralos tearfully begged Hawkins to save his people from genocide. Hawkins and his veteran crew were the Thraxians' last hope. If the humans failed here, an entire species would be wiped out. Hawkins vowed to drive back the invaders or die trying. He had a daring plan to strike at the heart of the Voxari occupation and shatter their command structure, but it would be the hardest mission of his life. The fate of the Thraxian hung in the balance as the Indomitable prepared its desperate assault. Hawkins assembled a squad of his finest soldiers encased in sleek power armor that augmented their strength and speed. Kralos joined as their guide, his four eyes blinking with determination. They crammed into a dropship that plummeted through the smoke-choked atmosphere of the Thraxian homeworld. Anti-aircraft fire streaked past the viewports. The ship barely avoided a missile before setting down in a crater half a click from the enemy command center. The strike team fanned out from the landing site, pulse rifles ready. They advanced cautiously over the rubble of a once great city, Broken spires and toppled monuments showed the ferocity of the Voxari assault. Suddenly plasma bolts sizzled through the air as a Voxari patrol spotted them. The hulking aliens fired from behind a collapsed wall. Hawkins and his team dove for cover. Light them up, Hawkins barked. The humans opened fire, their high-powered rifles punching holes clean through the Voxari's thick hides. But more hostiles poured in from all directions, the humans formed a perimeter, mowing down wave after wave. Spent ammo casings pinged off rubble. Ozone from seared flesh choked the air. Krelos proved surprisingly handy with a sidearm for a diplomat. He dropped a Voxari who got too close. We cannot delay, Captain. This way to the command center. They pushed through the ruined streets, dispatching Voxari fire teams with ruthless efficiency. Superior human tech and training made the difference against the invaders' numbers. What they found along the way sickened them. Piles of butchered Thraxian civilians, sobbing survivors being hauled off as slaves, Voxari death squads rampaging unchecked. Hawkins seethed with barely contained fury. He put a plasma bolt between the eyes of a Voxari brute, dragging a wailing Thraxian child. These bastards are gonna pay, he growled. The command center loomed ahead, a fortified pyramid bristling with gun emplacements. Getting in would be suicide. But Kralos had an idea. Captain, my intel report shows a vulnerable Voxari supply depot four clicks west, the ambassador said, pointing to a hollow map. If we destroy their fuel and ammo reserves, it would cripple their ability to wage war. Hawkins grinned savagely. I like the way you think. Let's give these alien fuckers something to really scream about. They diverted course, blasting their way through occupied territory. Panicked Voxari comm chatter spiked as reports of the human assault spread. The invaders threw everything they had at them, but it wasn't enough. Power-armored human shock troops were an enemy they'd never faced before. The supply depot was a sprawling complex ringed with laser cannons. Voxari transports were loading up with ammo and reactor cores. Hawkins had his target. Hit them hard and fast. Catch the bastards with their pants down, he shouted over the comm. The humans and Kralos charged, all guns blazing. Shredded Voxari bodies flew in all directions as pulse rounds found their marks. Hawkins zeroed in on a tower-mounted laser cannon that was pinning his team down with searing blasts. He launched a micro-missile from his suit's shoulder pod. The projectile streaked into the tower's viewport and detonated. The cannon exploded in a plume of vaporized metal and flesh. Move up, secure the depot, 
Hawkins roared, taking point. His team stormed the depot gates, cutting down defenders left and right, but the Voxari fought like cornered animals, desperate to protect their vital supplies. A plasma bolt clipped Hawkins, searing a gash across his armor. He gritted his teeth and put two shots through his attacker's skull. They waded into the thick of it, purple Voxari blood mingling with red human blood. Hawkins was a one-man army, firing and reloading at blinding speed, leading his soldiers by example and courage under fire. Slowly, they beat the enemy back from the depot grounds. Victory was so close Hawkins could taste it. That's when a panicked comm transmission cut through the din of battle. Captain, massive warp signatures detected, the voice of his XO cried. It's a goddamn invasion fleet. There'll be weapons hot and on top of us in minutes. Hawkins looked to the angry red sky as Voxari reinforcements started materializing in orbit, hundreds of fresh enemy ships ready to unleash hell. The Indomitable was the only thing standing between them and the planet. Take us right at them full combat speed, Hawkins ordered over the comm. Buy us as much time as you can, we'll get this supplies depot sorted and give you an opening. He knew he was asking his crew to charge into the jaws of almost certain death, but the Thraxian were depending on them. The Indomitable couldn't let them down. Hawkins eyed the supply caches full of explosive ordnance. They gave him an idea as desperate and fearless as his ship's attack run. We're going to blow this whole damn depot to atoms, he told his strike team. Grab what explosives you can carry, rig them to the ammo dumps and fuel stores. This place is going to light up the whole continent. Let's move like we've got a purpose. They hurried to plant as many debt charges as possible before the Voxari fleet arrived. No one knew if they would survive, but they were the only hope for the Thraxian people. They couldn't afford to fail now. High above the besieged Thraxian homeworld, the space battle raged with terrible fury. The human fleet led by the valiant UES Indomitable hurled itself against the technologically superior Voxari forces with unwavering courage. Outnumbered and outgunned, the humans fought with the tenacity of warriors who knew the fate of an entire species rested on their actions. On the planet's surface, Hawkins and his strike team continued their desperate assault on the Voxari supply depot. Pulse rifles chattered, micro-missiles streaked through the air, and explosions rocked the ground as the humans pressed their attack. Voxari defenders fell in droves, unable to match the sheer ferocity of the human onslaught. But as they fought, a urgent message crackled through Hawkins's comm unit. It was his XO aboard the Indomitable, her voice strained with barely controlled panic. Captain, the Indomitable is taking heavy damage. Shields are failing, hull breaches on multiple decks. We can't hold out much longer against these reinforcements. Hawkins gritted his teeth, his mind racing. The Indomitable was the only thing standing between the Voxari fleet and the planet. If it fell, the Thraxian were doomed. But he also knew that the success of the ground mission was crucial to breaking the invaders' hold on the planet. He made the hardest call of his life. Understood, Indomitable. You have to hold the line no matter the cost. We'll complete the mission down here and draw the bastard's attention away from you. But sir, what about... You have your orders, Commander. Hawkins out. With a heavy heart, he cut the comlink, knowing he had just consigned his ship and crew to a desperate fight for survival. But there was no time for regrets. The mission had to come first. Listen up, he barked to his strike team. The Indomitable is in trouble, but we can best help her by raising hell down here. Double time it to that command center. They fought like demons, carving a path of destruction through the heart of the Voxari occupation. Power-armored boots tramped over the corpses of the enemy as they stormed the command pyramid. Withering plasma fire cut down Voxari defenders as they tried in vain to halt the human advance. At last... They breached the inner sanctum, a vast chamber pulsing with malevolent energy, but what they found inside defied belief. Arrayed before them were not just Voxari, but a ragtag assortment of a dozen alien species. Thraxian, Crete, Varunai, and others Hawkins recognized as victims of Voxari conquests, but instead of cowering captives, 
They stood as soldiers beside their masters, weapons trained on the humans. My God, Kralos breathed. The Voxari aren't just one race. They're a collective of enslaved species forced to fight for them. Hawkins snarled in disgust. Doesn't matter what they are, we're putting an end to their reign of terror here and now. With a battle cry, the humans charged, plunging into the midst of the enemy. It was a whirlwind of desperate close-quarters combat, a savage melee of flashing blades, hammering gun butts, and point-blank weapons fire. Hawkins was a machine of war, dealing death with every blow. His armor slick with the blood of a dozen races. At the center of it all stood a towering Voxari warlord, bellowing orders to his mind-shackled minions. Hawkins zeroed in on him, knowing this was the linchpin of the enemy forces. They met in a clash of titanic strength, human fury pitted against alien brutality. Hawkins ducked a swung plasma axe, feeling the heat of it singe his hair. He rammed his pulse rifle under the warlord's jaw and unloaded a burst of fire, point-blank, blasting away scales, flesh and bone. But the Voxari commander was monstrously tough. Hissing in pain, it wrapped its claws around Hawkins' throat, slamming him against a bulkhead. The world swam red, his vision tunnelled. He could feel the alien's fetid breath on his face. No, it couldn't end like this. The Thraxian were depending on him. His crew was depending on him. With a last desperate burst of strength, Hawkins brought his armoured knee up into the warlord's groin with a sickening crunch. The Voxari howled and loosened its grip. It was the opening Hawkins needed. He drove an armoured fist into the alien's throat, caving in its windpipe. As it staggered back, he followed up with a micro-missile to the chest. The projectile detonated, blasting a gory hole straight through the warlord's torso. The Voxari commander toppled, its puppet soldiers collapsing with it like marionettes with cut strings. Hawkins stood over his vanquished foe, battered and bloody, but unbowed. Captain, the Voxari forces are in disarray, Krylos shouted in amazement, monitoring comm channels, when you killed the warlord, they lost cohesion. We did it. Hawkins allowed himself a grim smile as he surveyed the devastated command center, littered with the bodies of enslaved species. They had struck a blow against the Voxari war machine this day, shattered the invaders' chain of command, proven that the alien scourge was not invincible. But the cost had been high, and the fight was far from over. He could only hope his brave crew still lived to see this victory. The Thraxian would live to see another day, but there were countless other worlds out there, groaning under the iron boot of Voxari occupation. He vowed that humanity would stand against the invaders, a shining beacon of defiance in the darkness. The Indomitable would be at the forefront, waging this war across the stars, until every enslaved race was free. Hawkins reloaded his pulse rifle, the click of a fresh ammo cartridge echoing through the smoke-choked room. There was still work to be done. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support me, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And for every comment that says, I liked the story, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.